Hey Simmers, it's Sims Lover 4 here and I'm back um, with a kind of different video. This is going to be a how-to video, but it's going to be a how-to do one-step video. So this is going to be the first in a series of maybe like four videos of me going through showing you how to fix one issue. And it's going to be, there are going to be issues that I get asked about or that a lot of comments are left about that um, it may not be clear when I'm typing it how to fix it. So the first issue is we're going to figure out how to um, uninstall Origin in a wrapper and reinstall Origin in that same wrapper. And you're going to want to uninstall Origin if you've accidentally let your Origin update. And you know you let your let your Origin update when um, you're presented when you go to open your game and you're presented with a login screen. Um, yeah, that's a bad, bad, bad sign. That means that. I don't even know what it means because I never let my origin update. I've never seen that screen on my computer. But from the comments that I get, I assume that's not good. So, well, I assume you can't play. So if you get that screen, don't fret. We can fix it. Um, how you would fix it, though, is find your rapper that you play with. Now, I have two rappers here. Here's my um, rapper that I play with, and then here's... A t We're going to call this a test rapper. This is, a, I think, a rapper that I made in my last video, but I'm just going to play with this. It's going to be a little test rapper. So um, you're going to right-click on your rapper and click Show Package Contents, and in there you're going to um, open up your Wine Skin app and then click the Advanced button to get to the Advanced menu. And in here, you're going to click on Tools, and then there's um, an Uninstaller button here. So this is similar to um, the Windows uninstall process. So if you've ever been on a Windows computer PC and you uninstalled some software, this is similar to how it looks. Um, it normally takes a while to open, but that was really quick for some reason. It normally takes about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds for it to open. So you may think it's not doing anything, but it takes a long time. So what we're going to do is you see Origins here. You see the Sims 4 is here and the two things that we had to install um, when we installed the game, I think. So select Origin, click Modify slash Remove. Um, are you sure you want to uninstall? I am sure. So click Uninstall. And let it finish uninstalling. C close that screen. If you get a pop-up, close it. Um, once it's finished, click finish. And you'll see that Origin still is sitting there, right? So press OK. Let the tool finish. So if you can look where my mouse is, my pointer is, you'll see it's still running. All right, it's done now because that, um, what is it called? The spinner is gone. Um, you can go ahead and close your wine skin advance menu and um even though origin was still sh um, showing up in that list of um, applications that are installed in the wrapper if you double click your wrapper you'll see that it won't open you'll get an origin issue an origin error so it looks like it's opening if you can see right here this is what it should look like oh you thinking it's gonna work and it has unable to start. So you know that Origin has successfully been uninstalled. So now you are going to follow those, well, not those same steps, but similar steps. You're going to go ahead and show package contents, open up your Wine Scan Advanced menu, and then um, click Install Software. As a matter of fact, I think you can do that. Yeah, you can do it from here. I always just go straight to Advanced, but... Either way, you can just install software. Click Choose Setup Executable. And then find where your origin file is, where it is on your computer. So I have mine in this Sims 4 folder, or just Sims folder, on my desktop. Yours should be in your downloads unless you deleted it. In that case, you'll have to reinstall it. And in that case, you'll want to or I'm sorry, you have to re-download it. But in that case, you'll want to re-download it prior to uninstalling it, just in case. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you can't play. But I would feel more comfortable if I had the file before I uninstalled it. Um, because once it's gone, it's gone. But anyway, so yeah, 
Here's, um, and of course, it's an exe file in case you have to re download it. Make sure you're downloading an exe and not a .dmg. You want exe, you want the Windows version. Choose, uh, select choose, and then go ahead and let it install. It's not going to tell you, oh, it was successfully installed. Oh, I'm going to stop talking because watch this. Oh, never mind. I got excited for nothing. I do that sometimes. Install. Let it install. Close that screen. And I think this is what I was talking about. Close that screen. You have to be quick, quick, quick. Like, you really can't be doing two things at one time. You have to... Oh, and of course, it doesn't tell you, oh, Origin successfully installed. It just, like, quits. So... Um, we do know that Origin installed though because I guess we kind of saw it finish. But once you do all that, you can close all your folder and the menu, and then you can go ahead and open up your wrapper. Now, pay attention, please pay attention. I'm going to double click this and I'm going to quickly close this pop up screen. And when I say quickly, I mean like quick, close, boom, gone. I sound like Kevin Hart. You guys know who Kevin Hart is? Anyway, um, so yeah, um, interesting. It's in windowed mode. I expected it to be in um, full screen. I think it's because I didn't move my Sims 4 folder out. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I'm just going to let it load up here so that you can see that... Um, that it works. Sorry if I'm spaced now. It is way past my bedtime. I'm normally asleep by like 9.45. But I wanted to get this video off for you guys because I feel bad. A lot of people have been asking me how to do certain things like over and over. And I don't. I respond, but I can't get as detailed in text as I can. Obviously, just running my mouth. And this video is not even supposed to be this long. So, clearly, the game has opened up. Um, If you can view your desktop from... Um, like, I don't know if yours will be in window full screen. Mine is because I didn't like move my game out, which I should have, but it's okay. Um, but anyway, so what was my point? My point was, uh, yeah, it works. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, um, you can try to view, I'm pressing, I'm going to my corner. I have a hot corner set up, but there's also F3 that will do the same thing on your computer. Um, and you'll be able to see, like, if you were not quick enough to close that, um, that, that screen that popped up, you can attempt to look at your desktop to see if there's any other, like, pop-ups in the background that you, you know, otherwise wouldn't know. And that's, if you see a pop-up, you close it. You don't need pop-ups. All you need is the game. So, um, I hope this video was useful, um. If not, it's cool because it's, it's not a long video and I can make another one if something, you know, was not addressed. So just let me know what you guys think and leave any comments below. Thanks.